Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I wanted to share the card I made for our recent YPP um, card swap. This is run by Elise at Lisey46. Okay. I'll put her link down below. And there's, um, I think, eight of us. And it's just a fun swap. She just gives us a prompt every month, and we send our cards to each person. So this one was um, red, white, and blue, and mine is a Stampin' Up! stamp. I show how I do this um, right behind my introduction here. So I wanted to just show, I wanted it to look like a nighttime sky of fireworks, and I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I taped this down, but this is the um, color burst powders from Ken Oliver. They're beautiful. They're fun to work with, but they are really messy. I got it all over my hands, as you'll see after this. And it, I washed them for a couple of days. Finally, not a couple of days, one day. And then the, I was like, this is not going to come out. I still have some in my fingernails that I can't get out there. But the next morning I woke up, washed my face with my good old Noxema, and I looked down and it was all gone. So I had gotten some of the powder on my blouse and on my pants and all over this. I haven't tried it on here, but I used Noxema on my blouse. I first tried the stain uh, remover, pre-stain, whatever you call it, stain remover that I have from Melaleuca, and that one get it all. That's gotten everything out. So I tried the Noxema, and it got it out. So whatever it is we're putting on our face takes care of dye, too. So, anyways, here's my card. And I am um, sad to say they got kind of messy on the back because of my my color burst desk or um, craft mat. It's really hard to get off. I'm going to try Noxema, though, in little areas to see what it does. So that's my card. Again, that's Stampin' Up. I think it's Thankful Thoughts. Yeah, I think it's Thankful Thoughts. But I'll put, I'll show you all that, like I said, after this. So, on with my Watch Me Work. All right, so, here's the Ken Oliver Color Bursts Prussian Blue, and it's highly concentrated. This is me trying to clean up my mess. So just be careful if you're, you know, so inclined. You might want to wear gloves. Because I think I'm going to have stained fingernail for all. So just go like a little bit here. Here and there. Oops, that's a lot. And then I'm using, I have these bottles. I bought, um, they were for Glimmer Mist. And you could, you know, because the sprayer always kind of got goofed up. But I still have a bunch left, so I just use them for, because they have a nice mist instead of like a harder. And then I'm going to go dry this with my heat gun. Okay, so it is getting a little warped, but I am going to be putting it on a card base, so that should be okay. Okay, then we want to do... Some peony. And I kind of want to leave white space too. It seems to work best. Okay, and I'll dry it. And it is warping, but it'll be fine. But I would definitely do this in kind of a aluminum pan or some kind of other type of pan that you can wipe up because it's kind of a nightmare on a, a craft mat or cutting mat. It was like, I think I spent an hour and every time I'd use a new baby wipe, I'd find more little streakies. Okay, 
Okay, so here's what I mean. There's little powders of the... Like, you can't really see it very well. You know, you can see some of the coloring. But it's everywhere. It's the only thing I don't like about this. Plus, I'm really bummed that I got this mat all colored up. But... And I don't want to stain this pan. Because it's old. Okay. So I've got this one done. And I know it looks like a galaxy, but I'm hoping it'll look more like a fireworks. A night of fireworks. And then I gotta stamp this. I'm gonna put these away. They're making me nervous. I love this stamp set. Thankful Thoughts from 2003. I've had this since then, and this is my favorite one. But I love it. I used that. We had a... This was before I started with Why Your Favorite Pantry. But we had a swap of um, using a mason jar. This was like probably 2004, right after I got this. Or maybe around three. Anyways, so I put her inside the mason jar. Like, I had a big little... It was really cool. I think I still have... It was an ATC card. I think I still have it somewhere. Anywho, I was going to do the hardest part of this little card. And that is... Um... Stamping that what stays on so that it stays on it. I pulled these off. And put them on the um, Stamper's Best foam mounting. Or foam mount. Because it's just so much better. Otherwise, you know, you, you have to get it the first time with those. Like why in that stamp? Inking it up. S stays on, I think, is hard on rubber and or rubber and acrylic stamps. Super hard to clean up. You gotta have their cleaner. And I don't I have no more left. So I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby and get some. And you gotta be careful when you do this because it sticks. And then you can only do it once, stamp once if you stick it or pull it up and the paper comes with. Green, huh?
Okay, this is the next day. I cannot get this paint off. I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. So, next time, I'm wearing gloves. I just can't believe how much it's stained. And I got little specks of powder on my favorite top. So, <clears throat> be careful. They are fun to work with. Just be careful. <clears throat> They're pretty though. I don't know which one to cut off. Right out here. <coughs> uh, oh well. <laughs> 